Coats 9100 coming at you. This video is going to be about if you're living in a van, living in a car, SUV, if you're out there on the road traveling, uh, living as a nomad, a cooler is a very, very nice thing to have. Um, it keep your drinks cold, it'll keep your food cold, they come in all different sizes and all different name brands. <clears throat> the one that I have is just a Rubbermaid 10 quart cooler, um, it keeps all my drinks cold, I don't need solar panels on my roof to run it, um, I don't need a refrigerator, all I need is ice. And some people might say, well, you got to pay for that ice. No, you don't. You go to the bigger truck stops, the bigger gas stations, and you get yourself two of those big cups like that. And you can keep uh, replenishing the ice for free. You go in there, first thing you do is ask them, bring these two cups in with you. Say, can I get a couple cups of ice? And nine times out of ten, they'll say, sure. And they don't charge you for it. Now I have been a few places that charge me uh, 25 cents for each one of them cups. And um, either I'll walk out the door and not pay them. Or I'll pay them the 25 cents and not go back to that location. But 9 times out of 10 they'll give you the ice for free. And usually I'll fill these up 4 times. I'll go, in, I'll go in the first time. Fill them both up full. And go back in again every other day. At the temperatures that I'm in right now. Which is in the 70's. And around the 50s and 60s at night so I can go about every other day but if you're not paying for the ice this works just as good as a refrigerator um, in my opinion it's better because the particular van that I got right now does have a refrigerator in it but it never did work right it's an older van it's a it's a 1991 uh, Ford Econoline van and a coachman uh, camper package on it um, but the refrigerator never worked right anyways. Now the newer refrigerators are much better, but they tend to cost money. And if you're living in your vehicle or you're living in a van, uh, you're not going to have extra money to do things like that. Anybody knows that. Uh, but my point is this uh, cooler can go a long ways. You can keep meat in there, just wrap it up in some Ziploc bags. You can keep your mayonnaise in there, your sliced cheese, everything that you need that needs to be refrigerated right in a cooler. Um, it's a much better setup, less things to go wrong, uh, such as a refrigerator. There's more things on a RV refrigerator that can go wrong, mess up, things that will cost you money. And them things are expensive. Uh, just make it easy, make it plain and simple, and get yourself a cooler. Get you a couple of them cups and get yourself free ice <clears throat> when you need it and you'll be all set. Alright guys, keep living the dream. And the dream is living in your car, living in your van, surviving every day. Alright, talk to you later.